This is a great league team that's gonna sweep Sierra when she has the Sharpedo there in the middle spot. But of course, as you guys know, she's gonna start out with a Lapras. So today we're gonna be running Toxicroak, Kling Clang, and Scrafty. So the first thing we'll do, of course, is just get a little bit of damage in before switching out, of course, then to Kling Clang. Interesting Pokemon. We don't have an exceptional moveset with Kling Clang normally. Like I said, this entire team is great league, so that was one reason that I chose it, because I actually have it at 1500. It's like right at the great league level. But other than that, the steel is gonna resist the ice attack. That would be Frost Breath coming from Lapras. The formula that I usually say is that you want to resist the fast attack of the opponent's Pokemon while also dealing super effective damage wherever you can. So if you're ever wondering, you know, you don't have that many options for Pokemon or there are maybe lower levels. One thing to look at is with this, with Kling Clang on screen right here, what you're gonna see is actually that it can use Mirror Shot pretty rapidly and the really cool thing about that move, while it really does not deal a lot of damage at all, we can actually replay where it happened. But on that second Mirror Shot that we did, Lapras, of course, shielded it, but it has a chance to debuff the opponent's attack, so anytime that one of your charge attacks can either buff your team or debuff your opponent, you know, that might be another place to look at. But of course, we are dealing a little bit of super effective damage. The base power of Thundershock is a little bit weak, just in general. A pretty good move at generating energy, of course. Now you see that Kling Clang did go down, and I fully expected it to faint and everything like that. But in the top middle, you're gonna see that there's a countdown, so we're actually gonna wait for that to get a little bit lower. It doesn't need to be fully at one or anything like that for this case, so we'll get Toxicroak back in here. It's gonna do a little bit of damage. Just about two hits. And then we'll go ahead and switch in our baggy pants fiend right here, Scrafty. It's of course the research breakthrough box reward right now. So hopefully you guys can get one. Make sure you're pineapping up that Scraggy. So this Pokemon fits that same exact bill is we're not gonna do like a crazy amount of damage per charge attack, but it's an attack that can buff because it's power up punch. So that's gonna make our attack rise as you just saw. But the other component of that, we do a little bit of super effective damage, of course, but man, we can just spam it, spam it, spam it. So that's another key to edging the battle in your favor right here. And this was actually timed out well. Kind of what I expected here is that the Lapras was going to use Blizzard right there so we can shield, of course, against that. And every time that the team go Rocket Side or you uses a charge attack or when either of your Pokemon faints or gets switched out just manually, the team go Rocket Pokemon, Sierra in this case, they're going to stay still for about three seconds. And those are, it doesn't sound like a lot, but those are really valuable seconds, you guys. So make use of those by generating energy. Even if you had your charge move ready right there, don't use your charge move until just the moment when your opponent's gonna get ready to attack again and then strike because look at this man we're getting the buff our scrafty's going nuts right here it's on its last little bit of health but here with sharpedo i would say the battle's gonna go pretty easy from this point on it was mainly just that lapras honestly and again this is all great league pokemon and this scrafty isn't even powered up to the fullest that it could be and still fit within the great league i think it could take like two or three more power-ups but look at this man power up punch boom sharpedo already down below half health we haven't taken a hit and uh we're actually never gonna see this sharpedo Sharpedo even do one attack right here because then we'll switch out to Toxicroak in the bottom right. We had our switch back. You know, it is on a cooldown, of course, and that was why we waited earlier after our first Pokemon fainted, the Kling Clang. We waited so that that cooldown would be ready on the manual switch. So I don't do a lot of PvP at all, man. I really don't like the Go Battle League, but dude, anytime that I do actually participate, my team pretty much 90% of the time plus is gonna have a Toxicroak in it. I love this Pokemon, man. He's really a, a bit of a glass cannon, as I said. You know, it'll hit hard, but man, and it does take a lot of damage. We did a Mud Bomb first. Uh, that's a move that will be weaker than Dynamic Punch. We finished it off with Dynamic Punch. I knew that we'd be able to survive. But if you wanted to go straight for that Dynamic Punch, that would have been fine in this particular case right here. But anyway, this was nuts, you guys. If you're not looking for that Great League team, maybe you just need other realistic options. Whether you didn't have these or you want to arm yourself with that knowledge, please click an end screen on screen. We've got an entire playlist of many different battles against Sierra going up against her back-to-back -back Lapras. We've got like three of those. So click here, top pinned comment as well, and I'll catch you guys on the next vid, and thanks for viewing.